Okay, Addis Maximus here. This time with just a little video about this old, needing to be a little bit restored, bit rusty, start engineer's gauge. So this is a combination feeler gauge set that also has Birmingham wire gauges, as well as this interesting taper gauge. The reason it's called an engineering is because it comes with common sizes for uh, determining gaps for bearings, maybe motor alignment, motor wires, that type of stuff. And so it has some more common size feeler gauges, say from a thousandths and all the way up to fifteen thousandths. We can see which one was the most used here. That's pretty torn up. And then it has this oddball one sixteenth inch. Well, oddball, but also obviously pretty handy in some situations. Mainly because gauging a sixteenth of an inch isn't that easy. Oh, without stacking a bunch of shims, so it's kind of nice to have one that's a precision. We have a Birmingham standard wire gauge, so this is going to be some of the common thinner wire gauges, except for it also comes with sixteenth of an inch. Excuse me, eighth of an inch. This is what most wire and sheet metal gauges people are used to, is these big wheels. But this just happens to be this the more common sizes. Not a lot there, except for what's kind of handy. Just like on the wheel gauge here is that we have gauge numbers on one side and then we have direct measurements in thousandths of an inch on the other. Obviously not as much range. The smallest slot here is 14 thousandths of an inch or on one of these wheel gauges it goes all the way down to 10 thousandths of an inch. Still pretty tiny slots. Really th pretty thick piece of material here. And that's because this wire gauge is actually pulling double duty. As I showed earlier we do have this sixteenth of an inch gauge well, what on earth is, this is really messed up there. So, <laughs> this one here, well, is exactly eighth of an inch. These aren't the best calipers, these Pittsburghs. So you have a sixteenth of an inch, and then this wire gauge also is your eighth inch feeler. And of course, the last thing is this taper gauge, which is pretty interesting. It goes by 64 of an inch. So if you press it into a slot and you're just trying to gauge it, if it goes up to this line, it'd be a six an eighth of an inch. If it goes up to this line, it's three thirty seconds of an inch. And so it's just a real precision taper. So wherever something stops, you actually have a real exact measurement right across those points. On the back side, it does have a ruler. And the reason they you can get versions of this that are metric on the back side. But many of them are like this, and the reason is, is if you go into a slot, trying to find a slot where the end of this kind of gets jammed up, but it's a pretty fine end. So right here, this doesn't quite go in all the way into a 20,000th slot. We can see that it is at 1 64th of an inch at 20 thousandths. I mean, not get lost here. And then if I flip it over, I can see that it's going to be 20 thousandths of an inch across when this is inserted by a sixteenth of an inch. So if you're trying to replicate a measurement or something, what you do is you just take whatever thickness is at, or excuse me, at an eighth inch, not a sixteenth of an inch, at an eighth inch, and just go along and adjust it until it only goes in one eighth of an inch and it's a pretty simple way to do it and it gives you more graduations than you do on the 64th on the opposite side so kind of an interesting feeler gauge never seen or heard one of these engineers gauges and of course being a Starrett super tiny printing had to really scrape on that it was patented apparently a long time ago <laughs> long expired 1911 going for around two hundred dollars new which is really surprising uh, it is a piece of precision made tool steel but nonetheless uh, two hundred dollars retail it's a lot of money for a gauge but being an engineer's gauge it is pretty unique and i'm sure people like uh, millwrights and industrial service technicians are the ones who really use one of these and I think it's really pretty cool. It really stood out as soon as I opened it up. I was like, what on earth is the taper and a wire gauge doing in a feeler gauge set? 
Well, it turns out that there's indeed a reason for this. I wanted to share it with y'all. Thanks for watching, and happy Halloween.